Welcome back. Guess who's back? Reese is back. Back again. It's the show. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Same clothes, two shoes, one day. And today uh, we're gonna do something different. We're reacting to one of my buddy's music videos that just dropped today. Uh, he's in a rock band from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, goes by the name of Collision Course. If you haven't checked them out, you got to. If you're into grunge, kind of like a Nirvana, kind of like somewhat punky, somewhat hard rocky, Billy Talent-esque, uh, they do incredibly great stuff. They're just on their debut. They're on their come up. Uh, I am so excited to see what these guys do. Uh, COVID kind of fucked up a lot of their plans, but they're still dropping singles, still dropping videos. This is their second video of the year to come out, and I am so excited to watch it. I've heard the song before. I heard it six months ago when I got a preview of it, uh, but then uh, it came out, I think, a week ago, and now the video is out, and I'm just so excited to watch this. So we got Collision Course Crawl official video. Nice. All right, we're just going to jump straight into it. Okay, I'm sorry, it's like two seconds in, I'm already pausing it. But look at that lighting, dude. Like, that lighting is mint. Oh, so edgy. All right, uh, I'm gonna just take a second, give some nods out to some stuff that I'm seeing happening right here. One, it is not an easy thing to shoot a rock video in a different way these days. Uh, rock videos are pretty done up and this like band plays in an abandoned warehouse. That, that formula has been done a lot, many times. Still finding a unique way to do it was kind of like really interesting to see. Uh, if I can skim forward to the shot, this. Putting them all in like a center circle and having them perform together and like looking at each other with a light, one light in the middle. Uh, pretty incredible framing and kind of like composition like and just like, I've never seen someone do that in like a video before and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to take note of that because just as a director I could see what that could do. like instead of having the band all kind of like playing off and kind of just presenting out to the audience, you have them looking at each other and could really generate some like really interesting performance and camaraderie because everyone's kind of like watching each other do it. And it also just looks super kind of eerie and ominous looking outward on a band kind of just like playing in this abandoned warehouse. Hey, we just pause right there. We, we just Take a minute to notice Anton's chin and jawline and neck muscles bulging in this uh, super dramatic lighting. <laughs> This is an interesting kind of like second kind of side to the video We're kind of like he's in like a some abandoned bathroom maybe with like peeling tiles and like a straight jacket. Uh, I mean, that's pretty sick. That's so cool uh, what they did right there is just the close up of the drums and just kind of like so you feel and like you really feel the instruments that they that they're like hidden and playing uh, kind of really like really oh it's like so wide it's like 16 or maybe even like a 14 millimeter that they used on that looks great oh. and just one more time uh, 
it pays to have talent that can really act and sell a performance because like not everyone can look cool writhing on the ground in a straight jacket but uh Mr. Anton Schindler definitely pulls it off in a badass, kind of edgy-esque way. And uh, so talent that can really get into a performance is uh, incredibly important. You gotta be kidding me, man. That's sick. That's so sick. Oh, I guess I should probably talk about the music a bit. I've just been so like hyped on watching like the video. The, I'm, this is being a video nerd, I just, I just get, I'm so sucked into it. Oh, but damn. Yeah, it's like, what can I say other than it's nice to have modern bands doing kind of like punk and grunge and like hard rock and hardcore shit. Like, uh, it's, uh, it's been really refreshing to hear this. It feels like uh, a nice tall glass of cold water or like a, like a breath of fresh air to hear like good kind of like grungy hard rock music in 2021. Like it, it's, it's not to say it's not out there not to say I couldn't find it if I looked for it. I'm just saying like, it's nice to have more of it. And coming up from like new bands that are really pushing and striving for it, I think uh, Collision Course is, like honestly, I couldn't give them any pointers I just love their sound it feels kind of like I don't want to get in trouble for comparing them to like Nirvana or like it's got that vibe of a song and of music that's like super edgy and like really kind of like tough but also super kind of like I don't like vulnerable almost yeah I think vulnerable is the right word because it feels like it there's there's so much emotion in Anton's voice especially in this song that it just combos the toughness of the hard rock and grunge persona with kind of the emotional side of the music and of everything that it is about. And I think they do a really great job of capturing that in this song and in this performance, especially. With Anton being as he is tied up in the straight jacket, uh, writhing away, screaming out his, screaming out all his problems. Uh, this is a really cool uh, kind of like flakiness and like how they lit this coming from one side that is uh, I, I still can't get over that circle the circle shot where they're just panning around everyone playing together in the middle uh, that's legendary music video breakdown should we do mu should we do more music video breakdowns on the channel should I tell you what I think of all the other amazing people in this world's creative work should that be my shtick but, well, this has been our reaction to the music video, Crawl. And if you guys want to stay tuned, see what I post next, uh, hit that subscribe button right down there. Leave a like for me. It's been your boy, Reese Setta. The hat, because no one is better. Don't, call up, don't come up me. I'm going to grab my Beretta. I can't rap, but my last name is Setta. I'm sorry. I'm going I'm to dip out of this shit real quick. My name is Reese Setta, and I will see you in the next one.